What's going on guys, Touch Ninja here, and today I'm bringing you a domination game on old school non-DLC Afghan. My setup will be my Jolteon class with a UMP and silencer, USP with attack knife, marathon, lightweight, and ninja pro. Kill streaks will be set to Harrier, Chopper Gunner, and Tactical Nuke. And this match doesn't you'll notice one thing that I don't have the layout going on for this match, and that's for two main reasons. First one being I'm really busy. I have night school three times a week getting ready for my LSATs with which is my law school test. And as well, I'm not necessarily proud of how I played this match out. <laughs> um, if you're one of my older subscribers, uh, you know, well, well, first thing off, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers that I got from the Modern Warfare 2 podcast. You're welcome. I am very grateful for their podcast for bringing you here. And leave comments on what you want to see as I somehow cap the A flag here. Um, but I won't be doing it again. And like I said, the main reason, another main reason I didn't uh, post a layout on this video is because how I played it, I wasn't necessarily proud because I needed to get a tactical nuke while my team was losing as I get snipped right here after laying the beat down on those guys with a UMP. And so yeah, I needed to get attack nuke while we're losing to get the Call of Duty 4 green star spinning emblem, emblem thing which looks pretty badass and I wanted to use it so that's why I don't have my stingers right now on right now and I tried to do this with a weapon that I normally don't use I was trying with the RPD yesterday and I got to 24 kills four times and was one way kill <laughs> one way one kill away from my nuke and when you're trying to do a nuke uh, with a weapon you're not used to it's workable and it just takes a while but it's just very uncomfortable <laughs> it's kinda uh, it's kinda like um, wearing a new pair of underpants it's just it's workable but just doesn't feel right <laughs> so yeah um, so yeah I got to 24 kills uh, four times and when you're trying to do challenges with weapons that you're not really used to uh, this game can be very frustrating and it goes to highlight some of the things that are kind of wrong in this game. Uh, the first time, first time I got there, I got painkillered, commando knifed, shot the guy a bunch of times and just ignored it and Halo sword lunged me. And the other three times, I got one man army new tubed and yeah, so after the, after the second time, it, it's one of those throw your controllers up in the air moments and you decide to yourself I hate this game. But yeah, in those cases it's just best to take a break, play something else, put the game down, go outside, maybe hang with your girlfriend if she's lucky enough, and, <laughs> and do something else and take your mind off this game. But yeah, there are not many things that piss me off in this game. Uh, not even lightweight in commando, so long as a gun's being used with it. Uh, I have no problems with that unless it's being used with like a semi automatic shotgun <laughs> as I hide myself, as I call on my hair is right here. That segues nicely into my next question that I want to ask you guys. On my free for all with the mini Uzi on Storm, the comment section actually struck. A bit of it, a little bit of controversy. Some people said that the lightweight marathon setup, and with especially with ninja, ninja so you're silent, uh, it's it's broken and it's a cheap tactic that should not be used or should be fixed. And I kind of I kind of disagreed with this because unless they're running with like a semi-auto shotgun and with extended mags, and I kind of have a problem with that. But I don't mind getting commandoed against people because. It usually doesn't happen to me that often because I can usually hear them. And yeah, so if they're using an actual real gun, like a UMP or something, I honestly have no problems with it. As my Harrier is being piloted by Steven Seagal on steroids and doing a pretty good job for me right now. And there's only four people in my party right now, which is probably why we're losing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the lightweight marathon deal. Uh, I have personally have no problems with it. I don't mind getting killed with it, but uh, apparently some people do. I had kind of like a back and forth with someone, but I'd like to hear your opinions and your thoughts on this. 
but like I said, that's my opinion, it's not too bad. And in this upkeep sequence, I actually get my tactical nuke, and I kind of wanted to call it in right away, uh, because it's kind of a douchebag thing to do to let the other team continue to play, knowing that they're gonna lose, but what happened is I was planning to call it in, but what I, what I actually did was I asked my team um, what they wanted, uh, I told them I had my tactical nuke and the game was basically over and what they wanted to do and uh, a couple of them basically just said, the ones that actually had mics, said that they would rather just play it out and continue getting kills and so yeah, I'm not being a douchebag, I'm not just trying to rake up kills and get boost my KD but yeah, so they decided they wanted to play it out so that's why I didn't call it in right away but yeah, back on the topic of this game, like I said, I'm not a huge complainer. This game is still hella fun to me to play. And like a lot of the other big name YouTube commentators, I'm not going to say name names or anything, but a lot of them have stopped playing this game. Just out of personal preference and principles. And like, that's honestly their decision, and I respect that decision, but like I said, uh, Obviously there are times and situations where this game can be irritating, such as one man army noob tubes and the only time I'll actually ever call out someone in lobby is if they spent the entire game uh, <laughs> game playing like that, like a douche. And I can get pretty mouthy, that's basically the only time I'll get very angry <laughs> and that's just a signal to me to stop playing. <laughs> But yeah, um, the obviously one man army new tube, especially in an objective game where the guy's just basically raping the raping the flags or the headquarters with new tubes can be very irritating, but sh like you can just back out, find yourself in the lobby and we can kind of hope maybe that things will get fixed eventually, but even if they don't, uh, just find another lobby and if not, then just play a different game. There are a lot of great games out there right now. Uh, God of War, Final Fantasy, Bioshock, as I take a shotgun to the face <laughs> right there, Bioshock 2. Uh, I played Assassin's Creed 2, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, lots of games out there. Don't limit yourself if, you've, if you're getting frustrated by this game to Call of Duty. And play something else. And I got a couple, of, I recorded a couple videos today. I, I recorded the RPD video, which was a TDM and also an MPK5 video, which, once again on a TDM, so I have those ready for you guys. Um, just the video's gonna be a little intermittent, intermittent just because I was kind of busy. I was kind of good a couple of weeks ago where I was kind of releasing a video like every single day, <laughs> but uh, don't expect that kind of kind of treatment for like the next couple of weeks, but yeah. I'll still be releasing videos though, uh, sporadically though. And I was gonna steal this guy's package and I was gonna be cheeky and throw knifing him but uh, <laughs> he had a buddy at the very back and then he kind of picked me off and he stole his partner's <laughs> care package right there and I think if I would have played that a little bit more conservatively, conservatively there was a good chance that I probably could have got a second nuke in this video but uh, we're kind of dominating right now and that's not a good thing because obviously I need my team to lose and my team actually gets a chopper gunner in the air so I was kind of worried that Someone else is gonna get a tactical nuke and call it in. So I left the game a little run a little bit more than this, but uh, gotta make sure that I'm the one who gets a tactical nuke, right? Right. <laughs> and by me posting this influx of nuke videos, please don't assume that me posting these videos makes it seem like I'm trying to prove that I'm some ridiculous player or anything. <laughs> the only reason I'm posting nuke videos is because I prestige the max level I wanted and I needed to call in 10 nukes and I didn't have the emblem that I wanted yet. So uh, I took a high dive right there off the cliff. <laughs> then I called my nuke as we were dominating and the score was getting a little bit tighter than I wanted to, so I called it in there. So we win the game. Uh, final score, I don't even remember the final score was. <laughs> uh, let's see here, final score, 50 and eight. Playing kind of like a, of a douche, not really many objectives, but I wanted my green spinny emblem thing and I get it right here. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry I didn't post up a layout and I'll probably get it up on next time on my next video. And thank you for watching. Please check out my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.